everybody welcome back to the brand new video today we have a brand new debut subscription box this is the first month in existence for this product now you may have seen us open this package up on mystery box monday i decided to save it for its own video since it's its own subscription box this is the big fly box for the month of february 2022 they do have a website it's called thebigflybox.com and there was a note with the package that you saw on monday that kind of just goes through what you can expect 90 dollars box so you could compare that to some of the other products we open here the uh the mid end boom box is about 90 bucks the pen box is about 90 bucks this one's 90 bucks that seems to be a pretty common price for mid-range subscription boxes so you have to let the big fly box owners know in the comment section what you think of their product i mean it's their first time making a, a, a subscription box let them know how they can improve it seven to nine packs all shipping is included and it's now what's today february 2nd so we can open this now we are past the uh, february 1st uh deadline there or start day anyway also it's a double upload day we have these giant rip cards i have this um, giant uh, rip card collection that I purchased. It's a whole bunch of rip cards. We're doing its own video. This a thousand dollars worth of rip cards right here. Uh, for example, this Judge card alone is two hundred fifty dollars on eBay. We're opening all these tonight, so come back a little bit later for that. It's going to be fun. I really hope that we can find some actual autographs or stained glass cards or really cool stuff in there. We'll see. Anyway, let's get back to the task at hand. The big fly box, seven to nine packs. In here, let's see what you've got. There's a lot of different options out there, as you know. Most of you have uh, seen the videos we cover here. We do the big bat box. Uh, actually, we haven't done, we haven't seen the big bat box for like four months now. But we do the pen box. We do the boom box. We do the grand slam card collectors club. We've got the big fly box now. We've got the shoe box. Lots of different subscription boxes. They all roll in usually around the first of the month. So uh, that's why this week you might see. I don't know four subscription boxes but we've got uh, you know some other entertainment for you planned as well also it looks like we have a special saturday showdown this week the two luckiest uh participants on the channel the last month keith Nero and uh justin harris they've just been winning stuff like crazy pulling crazy cards all the whole month of january they're going to face off against each other one-on-one -on -one saturday showdown this week should be pretty interesting but you can see oh man it tells us all the packs i'd like to pull them out and be surprised as you probably do as well so in this month's edition, the debut box, we have a Bowman's Best pack. Very nice. I love Bowman's Best. I wish I had more cases. I ordered eight cases of this. I ripped through them all, and now I want some more. So we'll have one pack at least to you know, whet my appetite for that. Next, we have a 2020 Bowman pack as well. After that, we have a 2021. Now, I'm guessing these two are retail packs. I do not see an H anywhere on them. This uh, this has that retail flap right there. This is a nice one. This is a Bowman Draft. It is from the Hobby Light product, it looks like, with 16 cards. And what else? We also have, it uh, looks like, three more packs. Let's check them out. We've got a 2021 Hobby Pack of Heritage High Number. I like that set. We've got a hobby pack of Topps Chrome and a hobby pack of Update. So seven packs overall, all together. So it tells us that the Bowman is indeed retail from 2021. And the 2020 Bowman is retail as well. It says it right there on it. I, I can already tell, tell you guys that, uh, at least the guys at the Big Fly Box, some folks would rather you just do hobby. Other people are okay with it, but um, you know that's probably one little constructive criticism comment you may get in the comment section but these are some pretty nice packs i love bowman draft not a lot of chances of autographs in bowman draft light um bowman draft jumbos are where it's at at least in my opinion also the supers are just pretty much crazy let's go ahead and get started folks thanks for being here we'll start things off with a pack of uh 2021 update here we go let's see if we can get lucky there's taylor Trammell, sam huff debut lots of rookies in update can you believe it that uh, 2022 Tops is just two weeks away? There's Dylan Carlson, rookie debut. Having some good luck with all the rookie cards in here. And we have a, oh, 
black gold and a foil. Foil is going to be a Tyler Ivy rookie. Alex Bregman is our 1993 Tops Black Gold. I love that design. Kyle Funkhauser, Ross Stripling, John Berti, and there's a good old Brad Hand is the last one. All right, next, I'm going to go with the, uh, why don't we do the retail and get the retail out of the way. 2020 Bowman Pack, looking for maybe a Jason Dominguez. There's Zach Gallen. He had a kind of rough 2021. Sheldon Noisy. Aaron Savali, I like him. Rookie of the Year favorites card. So far, nothing too crazy. There's a Sixto Sanchez Bowman Chrome. First of Miguel Vargas. Bruce Star all rookie card. Hoping to find a Luis Robert, but we'll have to settle for Zach Collins and Adrian Morihone instead. All right, next. Let's go ahead and there's a little piece of the box there or something. I guess we'll do the other retail pack, 2021 Bowman, and see what we can find in this. Looking for Blaze Jordan, of course, or Austin Martin, or any of those other good guys in there. Layover Piguero. It's Kyle Lewis. Max Scherzer. I'll tell you what. Now, I don't want to give away everything, folks. I know some of you like to be surprised, but uh, I couldn't help it. I took a peek back at 2022 tops, and I, it looks just like a Bowman. Like the 2021 Bowman really reminds me a lot of 2022 tops. You'll see it when it comes out. Anyone else notice that? It looks like a Bowman product, 2022 tops. We've got the talent pipeline for the Twins there. There's Gunnar Henderson, J.J. Bleday. I'm a big fan of him since he's a Pittsburgh guy. Nothing too crazy in that pack. All right. We've got the Heritage High Number Pack next. And we'll start off with Wade Miley. There's Jared Kelnick. That's a nice one. Roberto Perez. Luke Rayleigh or Rally. And it looks like there's not going to be an autograph in this bad boy either. But we've got our three best packs for last. These two are my favorite. I'm going to do the Topps Chrome Pack. 1 in 12 chance of finding an auto in this. There's Scherzer, Jesus, Lusardo, Freshman Flash. That's where the auto would be. Usually it's the third card. Dustin May and AJ Puck. And now we're down to the best two packs. We'll do Hobby Light and see what we can find in here. And, uh, you know, have a chance in an auto, not a huge chance. I do love Bowman Draft. There's a Harry Ford first-round pick by the Mariners. That's a good card right there. There's Jason Dominguez, Ethan Wilson. There's Gunnar Hogland. That's a nice one. We've got one of the uh, parallels of Bra Brandon Brossier, I guess. I'm guessing it's a French uh, name. That's one of those Ray Wave cards, I think they're called, if I'm remembering correctly. Kind of a cool... Cool card for sure, Dalen Lyle. Jordan Lawler, nice. Jordan Lawler first. That's a great card. That's my favorite card of the box. Jordan Lawler, top-notch prospect. Let's see what else we've got. Luis Angel Acuna, of course, is a very nice one as well. And Jordan Viars is our final card. So we've got one pack left in this debut of the Big Fly box. It's going to determine if this is just a... Uh, a big fly that makes it over the fence and is a home run of a box, or if it's just a uh, you know big fly that just uh, kind of plops in the outfielder's glove a couple feet in front of the warning track. You know, every subscription box is like a lottery ticket. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. And right now, we are a little bit behind. We need to find a hit in this. So Bowman's best chance of finding a, an autograph in this uh, is our best chance. What is it, like uh, one in three packs, six packs per box, two autos per mini box, I think it is. So here we go, folks. Jared Kelnick. I'll take that one. We got JT Realmuto. We've got Aaron Judge. We have one of those lava cards. It's a Jason Dominguez and Hassan Kim. So this is this was a pretty good pack, but no autograph in there. And that's it for the big fly box for the month of February. It's their first debut issue. You can let them know what you think of their box. You can tell them, nice job. I'm buying one. You can say, maybe you want to tweak this or that. $90 box, bigflybox.com, and we also have now, I'm going to rip these open. It's going to be its own separate video. I cannot wait. Will we find a an autograph? I did a break of Alan and Ginter, I don't know, like months ago. We didn't find a single one. And now I have 10 rip cards and two, no, actually three jumbo rip cards. Wish me luck, folks. Tune back in in a little bit and check this video out of these rip cards. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you're, you know, if you haven't tapped that notification bell, please do so because anytime we go live or post a new video, you'll get notified via the YouTube app. We've got an auction coming up tomorrow. I hope you can join us for that. We'll have some consignment cards that people send in for me to sell for them. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of.
your Wednesday, and I'll see you in a little bit. Good night, everybody.